Hey everybody, it's meteorologist Brad Pennish with your Ski Southeast update. Uh, pardon my dust around me. Our studio is actually currently under construction right now, so uh, kind of in, in a corner here. Coming up uh, next couple weeks, I'm going to show you the studio. It's going to be amazing, and some of my updates are going to be pretty cool. Um, the good news, uh, other than the set being redesigned, is that we've got a really good couple of days here. We've had a great pattern change over the weekend. As promised, we got some natural snow. Um, we've got plenty of cold temperatures for making snow, and this is going to last for about another two days. So that's the good news. The bad news, the blowtorch is coming back. And if you watch me or follow me, you know the blowtorch in the southeast is bad news for skiers. So let's get to the good news first, because I think going into the weekend, uh, we're actually going to set up some pretty good conditions here. So this system moves through really quickly tonight through Wednesday. Behind it, there is a little bit of northwest flow snow, um, especially up in Virginia and West Virginia, and even, I think, a little bit of flurry activity in the mountains of North Carolina. But you can see that flow out of the northwest, a little bit of a uh, lake connection here. And certainly cold enough that snow making operations, especially at night, will be possible. So resorts, pump out those guns get them going now because the long term into the next week is not looking really optimal um, for snow making or for natural snow this lasts until about thursday night into friday as this high pressure moves off the southeast coast this is the surface high there's going to be a ridge in the mid and upper levels that are going to develop as well and you see the southwest wind that's what we call the blowtorch that's that southwest flow which is the warmest flow of air you get in the southeast and when we see that set up in the summer spring fall those are heat waves. In the winter, it's a heat wave. It's just not as hot in the summer because low sun angle and obviously it's January. This is the coldest part of the winter here. Um, so the fact that we've got a southwest flow typically means not ideal conditions for snowmaking or for natural snow. So here's my forecast here for snowfall from this first system. I'll show you real quickly. I think this will be halfway decent here. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to go all the way to Wednesday morning here, roughly about 7 a.m. So we'll stop it right there. Um, you could see, whoops, I'm back up here. Went a little crazy there. Um, we'll stop here, go to North Carolina. Now, I think this is a little underplayed in North Carolina, but it's definitely going to be higher elevation snow. So all the resorts should be fine, except for maybe ugh, Cataloochee might have, suffer a little bit here, and Appalachian could have some problems. But Beach and Sugar um, should be fine, and even over towards, uh, you know, over Gatlinburg might get a pretty good little dusting out of this because this is kind of like an upper level low which you get really wet heavy snow by the time the cold air gets in here the moisture starts to move out so it's not real ideal different stories you go up towards a winter place actually pretty good little storm in winter place um, this potentially has the ability to put two to four maybe three to six if we get lucky a uh, certainly snowshoe bullseye again right there could be seven or eight inches of snow and then look it up towards wisp I mean wisp uh, to me uh, definitely has the best chance here, Canaan Valley. Um, these areas really in here are going to be getting some pretty good snow. And, and for the first time in a long time, um, even parts of western Virginia actually have a pretty good chance of snow here. So the ridges are all going to get, I think, two to four with some outside chances of three to six. So this is a really good little system for the middle of the week, especially considering how, how warm it's been overall. And when I look at the forecast here, I'll show you what I'm thinking right now. Natural snow, obviously, on Tuesday. I think even Wednesday, I probably could have a, a few flakes early on. But check out the snowmaking opportunities. West Virginia, Virginia, and Maryland. I think through Thursday night, you're okay. Maybe even Thursday morning. But different story, North Carolina. Next two days are really the only option optimal snow making conditions as we go into the weekend in particular that's when the blowtorch starts to crank up and what do I mean by the blowtorch well let me show you this ridge develop across the southeast um, this really starts to crank up on Friday so the beginning of it shows up here I'm gonna go just a little bit further um, and that's a really strong ridge the fact that we have that much heat off the southeast coast and the southwest flow that's the blowtorch and everywhere here you're looking at temperatures 25 to 30 degrees above normal for this time of year and if i look at the long range future cast i can show you the progressions of our systems here's our first system system here comes the weekend system um, and this is all rain right now and maybe even th some thunderstorms so this has the potential to not only be warm but maybe a spring-like system with thunderstorms now as this system moves to the east um, there's no northwest flow behind it so it's really warm through the middle of next week this is next monday this is next Tuesday, so more rain. Not only is it warm, but it's raining. Ugh, worst scenario. But late next week, on the back side of the second front and the second system, there are some hints we could see some northwest flow and maybe some slightly colder conditions um, a week from Wednesday. So this is next Wednesday. So basically, there's a Wednesday to Wednesday time frame where it's not going to be really good. Um, and the week, this weekend, 
though I, it's going to be warm this weekend trust me there'll be plenty of snow on the ground by this weekend because the resorts will be cranking it out here um, and then really long range we'll go even further out another system next thursday um, that we'll have to keep an eye on this might be the front right here that brings in a pattern change and this is going into mlk weekend so I'm kind of eyeing that weekend right now for a pretty significant pattern change, which would be perfect. This could happen going into the weekend, so could set the stage for great skiing for MLK weekend, um, which obviously is a big ski weekend, everybody knows. So keep an eye on that weekend. If you have plans that weekend, uh, I really like what's setting up for that weekend right now. So hope you have a great couple of days here. I'll post another update later this week, even though it might be bad news, talking about the blowtorch um, setting up here. But the good news is, hey, this will set the stage for a pretty decent weekend albeit kind of warm, we'll take it at this point. As always, everybody, thanks, snow.